Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just got done interviewing the witness and looking at the crime scene of the murdered augmented journalist over in the alleyway down there. Um, to follow up on that case more, we need to head to the other district, but before that, we got a couple things to do in this one. We have to follow up on the point of interest. Uh, there's apparently one of my neighbors in the Zelen apartments is smuggling stuff in and out of Golem. So I want to find them. I also want to go to my apartment and just see if I, like, have any new emails and stuff. Also, there is something very strange happening behind us. Right before the recording, I looked at this and, well, take a look. It's talking binary to us and it's creepy as fucking hell. Now you must find me. It knew who I was. This is where I am right now. It was pointing up... Oh, yeah, where this point of interest is, the glitch. The pawn shop? What in the hell? They need my help. That is so creepy and so cool. Wow. Whoa. What's going on over here? Uh, did that quest just solve itself? I guess it did. Okay, I don't know if I actually wanted them arrested, but well, I wasn't the one who did it. I've been in this apartment, right? Everyone clear the scene. Then again, the computer's locked. Nathaniel Brown. Ah, oh, there's a there's a safe behind the fridge. I don't think the cops would like it if I blew up the fridge to try to move it. <laughs> Alright, well let's check out the computer at least. Access granted. There we go, we're fine. Hermanus, I love you and I want nothing more in this world than to see you both again, but we cannot abandon what we are doing. Even if we decided that we must focus on our own family first, if I were to join you in Udalek, how would Julia get the medication she needs? It can only come from out here, and so I must stay. And you and Mr. Galloway must come to some sort of arrangement. Whatever the cost, we must put our daughter first. I, I'm sure I'm totally mispronouncing that, by the way. I forgot how it's pronounced. I'll just say Galloway. Uh, that was the weapon salesperson in, uh, in Ulek. My love, you were right. I'm sorry to make things more difficult for you. It's just that I miss you so much. Not a day goes by when Yulia does not ask when she can see you again, and she cries when I try to explain why I do not know. Life in this place is difficult, but at least I have my daughter with me. I cannot imagine what you were going through. We are both very proud of your sacrifice. Thank you for your love and your strength. Uh, 
Wanted to write to you personally to say thank you a million times for the help you send. I do not know how you managed to get these packages through the checkpoints, particularly with neuropazine in them, but everyone here is very grateful for what you do. The blankets probably saved a few children's lives during the sudden frost we had. I've met your daughter. She's beautiful. I pray for your family every night, and I hope the police will not catch you. God bless you. Hermanus, I would be most grateful if you would forward this to your wife on my behalf. Thank you. You should know that your efforts are worthwhile. Did you used to dance? Hi, I saw you through the window and you looked familiar, so I looked you up on the bar's website. Are you the same Teresa Petrauskas who was with the Enhanced Czech Dancers? You guys were amazing. I saw you every chance I could and I was really sad when they shut you down. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for the great memories. I'm a natural, by the way. Huh. That's kind of a cool fan letter, although it's a little bit creepy that they saw you through the window. Saw you through the window? The window where? It mentioned looking them up on the bar website, though. So maybe it was through the window at their place of work rather than, like, looking into their window at home. Maybe it's not so creepy. Okay, just sold a bunch of stuff to this merchant at our uh, apartment complex, and... This is the only person I've ever seen that has Praxis kits. Each one is 10,000, they have two of them, I have 46,000. Let's finally spend some of our money and get two of these. That's strange. So this is our apartment, and right in front of it is a newspaper, an absinthe. <laughs> it's got one of those cool bottles. It's a skeleton. Skull. It's just a special newspaper. Well, this is new, actually. It's almost done. Palisade. Centralizing secrets. Oh, little K. That must be the K that I gave the information to, right? The dirt on Bicus. Sama's dot is all about truth and information, which is why we consider the greatest thing to happen to Prague in the last 15 years to also be the worst. The creation of the Palisade Bank in 2017 created a welcome surge in the economy and put Prague back on the map, improving everyone's quality of life. Or did it? Since then, thousands of companies and their powerful owners have hidden behind these treacherous walls. Uh, those treacherous walls, rather, allowing many to conveniently sidestep normal regulation or transparency in their business practices. And it's not the corporations who apparently pay the highest price for such secrecy. When a Palisade employee recently attempted to steal sensitive data, the aspiring thief was efficiently terminated by the bank's alarmingly lethal security systems. Proud parents of the Palisade, Talwara and Oshiro, presented this as an unfortunate but reassuring example of why their clients can consider their private data safe. Whether true or just another corporate cover-up, the fact that a human employee was in a position to compromise the world's most secure data bank must worry those who invested interests, uh, with invested interests. For now, one thing's painfully clear. If you decide to keep your secrets inside the Palisade Bank, don't forget your password. Eliza Kassan, who's the real face of Bicus? Everybody knows Eliza Kassan, making bad news look good for years. The mouthpiece of those moguls of misinformation at Bicus is a valuable commodity to the world's biggest media circus and one of the most famous people on the planet. So it seems strange that we know so little about her off-camera. After the AUG incident, Kassan suffered a mysterious breakdown and disappeared from public view so abruptly that it even led to speculation of her death. She later returned with no official statement, but something's felt off since then. Did she die in 2027? Is Pykus' popular puppet merely a coached lookalike? Maybe we don't know Eliza like we thought we did. That would be creepy if they're just a lookalike or... I don't know, a simulation or something? I hear seagulls. I see seagulls. Okay, on the agenda, do we have any new emails? Nope. None of that's new. Alright, so finally, after 50 years, I have dropped off my beautiful Otar's revolver, a nice memento, in my little secret stash. Let's go ahead and close that back up. I hope I find more special weapons and things. Alright, it's time to follow up on that glitch. 
So it pointed me to over here. Oh, the chicken foot. Looks a lot cooler when it's nighttime. That red really pops with how dark everything around it is. Wait, what the hell? Why does this say search completion? Huh? Someone mad at me? Huh. I don't think I actually did anything. So I think it was pointing me to the pawn shop, right? Yeah. Oh, whoa! It just unlocked it for me. Hello? Okay. Is this Janus? I suspect they might be an AI. This might be Janus. Already read it. Do I just use a computer? Maybe tomorrow. Sorry I couldn't make it today. I had trouble getting through one of the checkpoints. Some damn wrench was causing problems and the rest of us had to suffer for it. Do you mind telling me why we're being so easy on these people? As far as I'm concerned, this Golem City project is too close for my peace of mind. Send them all to some island and blow the hell out of it for all I care. What about that Raba place? Nice city in the middle of the desert, far from everyone else. Sounds about perfect to me. Give them a one-way ticket to there. Ah, enough ranting. If you're still in, we could meet tomorrow. Whoa. Hella. Hella. I've secured this location, but we are not safe where you followed. No. No one followed me. We must assume that they are always listening, always tracking us. They will never stop. Please, Adam. There is something you must recover. Missing data. Old memories. Will you help us? Who the hell are you? And why do you look like some religious angel or deity or something? How do you know who I am? I know who you were. She knows that our enemies are the same. We know that your actions did this to us. What? Us? She? Who? Uh huh? Why all the secrecy? What are you so scared of? We are scared of him. She is scared of them. I am scared of no longer being valid. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, what do you mean by memories? What are you asking me to find? We are not sure what the missing data contains. Memories. Hella's. Yours. Hers. Ours. 01011000. So I just converted that binary to text, and it converts to a capital X. The letter, capital X. Just tell me what you need. We need you to recover the missing data, and to make it part of us. Alright, where is this missing data of yours? The package has been sent to a tourism center in your area. The code to the office is 1591. We will initiate further contact as soon as it is safe. Please hurry, Adam. 
What is this? Is that tourism center? Is that the abandoned one that we found? Oh. Hi. I've just seen a ghost. Or something. I'm sorry we had to meet this way, Adam. But this was the only viable option. I'm not sure if that was clear. Nothing about this is clear. Why are you contacting me? It was impossible before. The coalescing process was not complete. Please hurry, Adam. The others will come after it. Oh, this old tourism center. That's the... That's the place where I found the... The huge mushroom through the door that I couldn't get through. I knew we'd be coming back there. That must be the memories, the giant mushroom. It all makes sense. How did I get in there before? Oh yeah, just right up there. Oh shit! They are already there. What the hell? Don't ever listen to Walker. The guy's got too much imagination for his own good. You don't think we should be asking questions? We shouldn't even be thinking questions. What the hell? What if he's right? If this thing is intelligent enough to, you know, adapt to us coming after it. You don't get it, do you? When they send us to erase something, they don't just mean files. They mean everything. Erase what anyone tells you. Erase whatever you think you know. Fuck this. We need to find <laughs> okay. Wow, so, okay, they are, they look like super professionals, like totally, they're not like, you know, rough gangsters or something. They're wearing expensive suits. They look like they're augmented. Who the hell sent them? Somebody with a lot of money. Somebody with a lot of power. Yeah, and they said... Well, one of them, at least, suspected that it, which must be Hella, might know that they're there. We shouldn't even think these questions, because I guess it might know. So, what the hell's going on? You know, I think now would be a good time to get an augment that generally isn't very useful. Um, but I can get the noise, the lake silencer thing. So it'll allow me to drop down here without making any sound. Let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, I've still got two Praxis left, even after that. Um, in fact, maybe... Should I spend my other two Praxis? Yeah, okay, let's make uh, our cloak use less energy. There we go. Now we need to assign them as well. Um, I guess F2 is fine for the leg silencers. Yeah, that's fine. Leg silencer? There we go. <laughs> Tag is clear. Copy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How, how far are you coming over here? Okay. Oh, okay, they're coming back. Nope. They're going down. Oh, they're coming back. Fireman green status? I would love to do a takedown on this guy, but, you know, what are you doing? Wow, this uses almost no power when I'm not moving. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do. Tag received. Confirmed. Wait, what? Yeah, I thought I put them down. What the heck? I don't know what just happened there. Pocket secretary. Yes, any information about who sent them? 
Red Retrieval. Morgan Everett doesn't like contractors who ask questions. Your friend Walker is very good at what he does, but curiosity and lack of discretion are faults the people at Picus can no longer tolerate. I don't care which of you recovers the disc or how, but once it's done, Walker is to be taken out. Wow. They're going to kill Walker just for asking questions. <laughs> it's from the editorial desk at Picus. So Picus sent them? Wow. Okay. I wonder what their stake in this is. Picus is a seriously evil corporation. I think I can help. Yes, thank you. I want to see this giant mushroom. I've been I've been wanting to see this giant mushroom for so long now. I don't even know is it real? Have I been imagining it? Or is that just a giant fucking mushroom? That's a giant fucking mushroom. Yeah, it's just a giant mushroom. Well, I feel satisfied. Oh. It looks like a floppy disk or a zip drive. Future past Antiki. It is the only place in Prague with the requisite reader. As soon as you access the data, we will meet. Yeah, it is an ancient floppy or zip drive. That is so cool. That's so dated. And we have to go to this future past place because they, they're the only place that actually has uh, an ancient reader that can read this medium. Oh, that is cool. Outdated piece of data storage. There can't be much data on this, though. Uh, yeah, that's not a floppy disk. Floppy disks are really thin. That's That's a zip drive, I think. I don't know how much data zip drives could hold, but it's very, very little. Okay, I'm in the other district now, right outside of Antiki. Oh! There's someone actually here. Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? <laughs> they sound so goofy. So I wonder. Let's see what we can find here. Like, just looking around. Lots of old sports. I wonder if people still play baseball and bowling. Or is that just like an ancient sport at this point? Old doors, when doors used to be made of wood? No, this door's still made of wood. Chairs! We don't have those anymore. Anime. Manga. Manga Monthly. That looks really weird. That looks extraordinarily strange. It looks like somebody just, like, really quickly drew an anime face over a non- completely non-anime body? Yeah, that's really strange. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. So if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Uh, I kind of do mind you asking. <laughs> this one says, Granny's eager to read her disc. Any chance we can speed this along? <laughs> Granny's eager to read her disc. Any chance we can speed this along? Sure, no problem. Very first thing they teach us at Future Last, always match the customer's tempo. If the customer wants to take his time, you take your time. If the customer's double parked, pretend you're double parked. So maybe we should start pretending. Right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry, I'm gonna make sure you don't walk out of future last unhappy. Oh 
Okay. Someone else asked you about a data reader? Weird, right? I guess these old things are popular again. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told him. All the obscure antique stuff is down in the basement. I think he's digging way in the back somewhere as we speak. I know there's a data reader there in one of the old boxes. Hopefully too. I'm not going in the basement. Something isn't right here. How did you... Oh, jeez. Um, if I've offended you somehow... Who are you? Sir, I'm just a guy here at Future... whatever the hell it's called. And I'm real eager to solve our mutual memory disk problem. It's my job. You know, everything you need, everything you're looking for is waiting for you in the basement. I made sure of that. Okay... I don't think they actually work here. I think in the basement is the body of the person who did work here. Who do you work for? Well, that's a complicated question. The way it all works nowadays, everything's so connected. I bet if you and I push it far enough, trace the paychecks all the way to the end, we both answer to the same people. I'm tired of playing games. Well, I'm not. You know, I gotta tell you, meeting people is the best part of my job. And you obviously want to get to know me better, so before we go ahead and take care of business, why don't you take a free shot? I'm curious, who is it you think I am? You're after Hele, aren't you? Just like those mercs I saw at the tourism office. Except you're smarter than they are. You knew I had to come here to find a reader to access the disc. Heli? That's not a name you're supposed to know. Of course, I'm not supposed to know it either, but what can I say? I like to get invested in my work. Who is she? She? Yeah, I guess it kind of sort of is. Modern times, right? Our sons will marry the girls of their dreams. What are you talking about? Don't mind me. I got hired to do a job and I plan to do it. Get the disc, kill those who come in contact with the disc. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's not happening. That was really cool. I didn't expect that to be such an interesting conversation. This is a really cool quest. Yeah, so this is Walker, which is what I suspected. The person that asks too many questions and is supposed to be killed after all this is over. Everett says you're the only one he can trust right now. Says you're the only one clever enough to salvage this shit show of an operation. I don't need to tell you he hasn't always been quite high on your quite so high on your methods. We're all aware that you have a habit of finding out more than you're supposed to. I suspect you know what's on the disc by now. You know who Helle is and you know what she means to Everett. What her freedom and exposure could mean to all of us. Get it done. Well, I've got a feeling that this quest is going to go on for a bit longer, so... I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to find out what's in the basement, and see what's on this disc. <laughs>